I got a t-shirt design already fit, already done, and that's what it says on it. I'd buy one of those. <laughs> a keeper red bias. I don't catch hardly any keeper red bias. They're out, they're out there, so get on them. Get on them. <laughs> All right, he's probably not even close to a keeper. <laughs> I really don't catch keepers. I mean, people think I'm joking. They're either too big too or small. too small, and that, that that having opening up this area to two a day is just means that every 18 incher is getting taken out of the water, and then there is less keepers to catch. So true. When they did that. I was so against it because I was getting emails from the FWC and the CCA and everybody. And I would go, no, no, no. I said no every time and everybody was so excited about it. And I thought it was just bullshit because the same exact thing. That's just going to give everybody the opportunity to keep every 18-inch Every 18-inch redfish and every creek around here gets two, 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 two. And I'm not a creek guy, so guess what? I don't go up there and hardly catch those, ever. All right, there we go, folks. First nice fish one. of the day. I'm actually out here with a guy named Chris. And he's up in front of the boat. He's he's playing bow ornament right now. He's up in the bow. Let's see how big this dad, daddy is. He ain't gonna be no keeper. Oh, shit. God damn, he's like 30. 31 inches. 31 incher. Pretty fish. Yeah. Right, there he goes. Alright. I just had to set the precedence. Hey, it works, Captain, whatever it takes. I was hoping that was going to be the, the, the red fish you get to eat tonight. <laughs> Alrighty, folks, here we go. A shrimp eating. There's a tentacle sticking out of his mouth. A keeper sea bass at the jetties. <laughs> He's 14 inches. 14 inches. They got to be 13 inches to keep them now. They figured that out so you don't ever get to keep a sea bass unless he's enormous. That's almost a green head. That right there. Jigging shrimp. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. I've actually That's caught nice red fish. I've caught red snapper over. Any size to them? No, sixteen inches. <laughs> Just shot. Red sky in the morning. Sailors take warning. Red sky at night. It's a sailor's delight. My god, I know this ain't showing up that great on a GoPro Hero Sessions 4, but let me tell you folks, that looks like something that somebody painted up in the sky there. And I know you can't see it like I am, but it's awesome. This is day three, Jetty Wolf Inshore Sport Fishing Charters. And uh, I got Aaron on the boat. Yesterday I had Chris on the boat. The day before I had Andrew and Tommy on the boat. And I can honestly say, yesterday we didn't hardly catch crap. There was no tide movement in this river. And there's the Navy traffic starting over there. <laughs> I don't know why, but for some reason, it's stacking up over there. And here's a guy right here that should be telling us exactly what the story is, because he's an 
Aviation dude in the Navy. Helicopter man. <laughs> and he says, I don't fly them. I just fix them. Yep. <laughs> no flying for me. But let me turn the camera around here. What we're going to talk about this morning in the low light conditions, which I hope the old camera's picking it up, is the bite. The last few days. Look at this water. This water is slick, slick calm. And that's the way it's been. And uh, yesterday you saw some footage of a red that I caught a big sea bass that I caught. I lost another red and I had a guy named Chris on the boat yesterday. And no matter what we did for a while, you could hardly give away a shrimp. I don't know what was going on. The day before, I'll put up a few pictures. We caught a bunch of drum, but a lot of them are this big. And this guy, Tommy, caught two good keepers, and we threw them in the box, and we caught a few trout at the end of the day. So now it's day three, and me and Aaron are doing the opposite. It's like the old Seinfeld episode, when Jerry told George, whatever you're doing now is wrong, then the opposite must be correct. So instead of going to the jetties, we're going the other way on the St. John's River. It is going to be, it's freezer dump day. There's shrimp, pogies, and it's all going to be going in the chum chopper. See? Got chum? Yeah, we got chum. A lot of it. And we're, me and Aaron are going to chum, and we're going to fish some rock piles. Bottom fish, maybe some float rig fishing. But the forecast for the next, today is Wednesday. And I wanted to pull it up on the phone here and literally read the forecast for the next two days. Okay? So I think I have it here. And tonight. Southeast winds, 10 to 15 knots. Thursday, south winds. Now that's funny, south. South winds, 20 to 25 knots with gusts to around 35 knots. Seas only three to five feet, building to seven feet in the afternoon. Slight chance of showers. Then, Friday, west southwest winds 25 to 35 knots with gusts to around 40 knots. Look at this the last three days out here on the river have been damn near like this for three days in a row here in December. Now, I got lucky and I fished this is my third day in a row and I'm hoping I'm gonna get this lucky because come the 30th 31st and first of the year 2019 I'll be fishing three days in a row too and then I don't know whatever's coming in between now and then there's always gonna be something that's coming in because Christmas is coming and all that I might get something going here but, can you believe that weather forecast for tomorrow and the next day? So, this dude taking his vacation right now, his leave time, he's getting mighty lucky. He's going to have to go buy a lotto ticket. <laughs> I always say that. Go buy a lotto ticket and then guess what? Then uh, he can just hire me for like the next five years. No, we're gonna go buy one of those party boats and start our own. Uh, oh, we're gonna. Oh, he's gonna buy a party boat. And he wants to go into the fishing business. You know how you. You know how you make a million dollars in the fishing business. You start with two billion. Because <laughs> he'd lose his ass. 
You don't want to do. You don't want to do that. You don't want to do that. We can charge ten bucks cheaper than what those other guys. Oh, are. ten bucks cheaper. And we'd steal all their business. Oh, we're still all their business. And you see what the party boats are doing right now? We just left by where the party boats are. It's slick calm offshore, I guess. Everybody and their brothers going offshore. And the party boats are sitting there at the dock, not even moving. That's what I, I'm amazed. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe they're going to leave at 8 o'clock. I don't know. But, all right. Well, we got a high water situation, incoming tide, I guess, still here. Or something. So it's going to be a slow poking kind of day. We're going to fish according to the tide. So we'll get back with you when we catch something. Hopefully soon. If we catch something. <laughs> It'll be a catfish or a toadfish. We'll catch hey, them. hey, oh, we got we got plenty of toads with no current yesterday. That's for sure. All right, signing off. Get the, you need to get the net. Yeah, just in case. Oh, it might be a stinger. Oh, is it? I think it is. No, what is it? Yes. A fresh. The freshwater cat, I think. Yeah, get to that. It's not a saltwater cat, is it? No. That's a freshwater cat. Oh, he's a nice, he's a nice size. Oh! <laughs> That's a freshwater cat. You catch him up here every once in a while. Hey, Mr. Eye Fish. There's, uh, there's, I don't know his, I can't, I can't pronounce his name. He's, what is he, Russian or something? How about this? Uh, okay, I'll, I can actually pronounce this guy's name. Dieter, Dieter Melhorn. There you go, buddy. <laughs> a freshwater kitty cat. And I'm not a kitty cat fisherman. Freshwater kitty cat. I don't even know what kind of cat this is. I know nothing about freshwater catfish. Hardhead. I don't know. Well, that's what we call uh, that's what we call saltwater. And yeah, he didn't even pull. He didn't pull. All he did was waller around in the water. That's all he did. He didn't pull no drag. He didn't do nothing. But we're industrial fishing, as you can see behind me. And this, I caught one little trout. <laughs> And now we got this freshwater kitty cat. <laughs> Boy, these freshwater kitty cats are nothing compared to saltwater. This guy is so docile. I would not be able to hardly hold a saltwater cat like this. I would not be able to hold him. He'd be flipping and flopping all over the place. I'd be getting spined. Yeah. I catch them. Let's see, what was the last one I caught up in Mill Cove, I think. I caught one. All right, Aaron's on a trout. Whack a trout. It's the net cam. Oh, he's fine. He's got some fight in him. Ooh, that's a keeper. Ooh, that's a keeper. That's all we care about is a... That's a keeper. That's a whack a trout We're playing whack-a-mole. Except they're trout. Oh, yeah. If I wouldn't have thought of whacked him any softer. Look at that. Oh, oh my gosh. Look at that, folks. We're talking about a hair of his chinny chin chin. Oh, yeah, that's actually uh -huh. pretty strong. Yeah, it is. All right. Oh, 15 yeah. and a half. All right. He goes in the box, and we got a couple others. But the rest of them have all been little shorties. We only got three keepers and Mr. Kitty Cat. It's starting to pick up now, though. He's putting on his, just grab it. Just grab it. Not because I'm scared to touch fish, it's because these things are slim. Oh, look at that hook set. Oh my God. That is, that is. Uh, is that beyond hair of his lip? 
And look at look. Oh Ooh. my God! Ooh. Man, you need to go buy a damn lotto ticket. That was twice. The, that's both of them I caught, man. Oh, look at that. Put them in the trout stretcher just to make sure. Trout stretcher coming up. Got to do the officials because they're all just barely keepers. Look today. at that. Okay. Yep. He's 15. Going in the box. Well, I got two out just sitting on the bottom. See what's going on. And nothing's going on with mine over here. All right. Aaron got another one. And let's see how that one's hooked. Woo, look at that. Oh, the hook just falls right out of his mouth. That's why you got to keep that pressure on. You got to keep the pressure on it. You always check to see how they're hooked because we want to see if they're eating it good. Oh, we don't even have to get the stretcher oh, yeah, out for no, him. No stretcher he's, on him. He's, he's 17 up, inches. Yeah. All right. That's a sweetheart? Is that a sweetheart? Eh. Oh, that's, that's, did I get one? Yeah, I got one. Here, hold the camera. <laughs> Double whammy, baby. I got one while my rod was in the rod holder. <laughs> Mine was a thump, thump, thumping. I know, yours was better. Mine's a skier. Look at him skiing him. That's what you call Bill dancing him. Flipper? He's going to be a little flipper. One second. Oh. He might make it. Who knows? I mean, when we're fishing for ones that just might make it, that means we ain't having the greatest day, folks. We're just barely putting them in the box. Oh, look at that. Hooked your saw right out of <laughs> I'm glad I said something. He would have got off really. Okay, here we go. You're, you're, you're pointing the camera at the floor. Oh, sorry. I'm not a good camera. Okay, man. let's see. All right. He might, because he was 17. This one is. Get the stretcher? <laughs> oh, my gosh. I don't like days that we have to, like, pull out this, the trout stretcher every two seconds. Let's see. He might barely make it. That, that's that's jaw up against pinch the tail I think his ass goes in the box I think he does too look at that he's he's like a, a thread over the 15 I mean that hey folks that's when you're really you're really splitting atoms right now because we're trying to get Aaron's wife some serious trout his ass goes in the box nice. hey look at this Look, look around your sleeve. You got a bumblebee. Oh. On, you, got, <laughs> you got a bumblebee on your sleeve. Watch. Wait. Doink. And now he's gonna now be he's, trout. Now he's trout. gone. <laughs> he got a bee. He's, <laughs> he's just hanging there. Yes, folks. That's what we do around here. We do bee patrol. And then, of course, look at Aaron's shirt. It's covered in what? Beagle hair. Beagle hair. That's beagle hair, folks. Look at this. I can go in there and pull hairs out of his sweatshirt. <laughs> yeah, I don't like to turn my uh, heat on either, so I just bundle up. Yeah, I don't. House. Me either. I walk around in fleece pants and fleece shirts. Make that electric bill cheaper in the winter. Exactly. I can't afford that damn. I can't afford that turn the heat on in Florida. <laughs> no, you should never have to turn the heat never. on. Never. All right. It's getting cold. The tide died. And we're going home. We got some trout, no drum, no sheep's head. But we got trout. And a catfish. And, a, and got the catfish. So, uh, what time is it? Time to go back. I know, but what really time is it? Time to make the donuts. It's time to make the donuts! Yee! Trout for dinner. Trout for dinner. What's that old, what's that old, uh, commercial? What, what, what's for dinner? Beef is for dinner. Or beef is what's for dinner. No, what's for dinner? Trout. Trout's for dinner. <laughs>
break of dawn, I got my GPS and my frog togs on. I got every kind of bait a man might need. Well, there's a little rain, but I don't care. I'm like a boy scout, always prepared to handle just about anything. Some folks call me crazy, some tell me get a life. To me, there's nothing better than to spend all of my time out on the water. Cause that's where I get my kicks out on the water. Hey, it's my residence. Don't wanna waste my time or a single dime on something high and dry. Stalking fish and ripping lips Yeah, I love to spend my life out on the water Out on the water When I'm feeling down, I get up Attached the boat to my own truck Then I tow it down to my favorite lake A big rooster tail When I'm there, my medicine's the Kool-Aid air And it's guaranteed to cure most anything Some folks never get it The ones that do get hooked If I could, I'd show them all how life can be so good Out on the water Cause that's where I get my kids out on the water Stalking fish and ripping lips I love to spend my life out on the water Don't wanna waste my time or a single dime On something high and dry I love stalking fish and ripping lips I love to spend my life out on the water 